how much RAM is enough for 2015? Today I wanted to test my Nikon D3100 for video creation, so I decided talking about computer RAM would be a good, quick subject. Ooh, uh, my wife is calling me. Hi, babe. How much RAM is enough for 2015? Today I wanted to test my Nikon D3100 for video creation, so I decided talking about RAM would be a good, quick video to make. Specifically, how much RAM you need in 2015. Of course, the most basic rule of thumb is to get as much as you can afford. The more the better, right? Well, yeah, but is dropping two or three hundred bucks on 32 gigs to max out the average consumer grade socket 1150 motherboard really necessary? I mean, really necessary? Well, like asking which adult diapers your Mima needs, it depends. Right off the bat, I'll say the absolute bare minimum absolutely required for 2015 is four gigabytes. Four gigabytes is adequate for very basic computer use, like web browsing, checking Facebook, sending email, watching YouTube, and playing very basic games. Notice I didn't say gaming, because gaming generally refers to people playing stuff like Battlefield 4 or Witcher 3. Generally difficult to do with only four gigs of RAM. Even harder if you're using an AMD APU, which shares its video memory with the system RAM. 32 gigabytes of RAM is in the serious personal content creation realm. A user who creates high quality YouTube content daily, or is a 3D CAD designer daily. Like, if your income comes from content creation, 32 gigabytes of RAM is useful and often necessary. Even a hardcore gaming rig doesn't need 32 gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigabytes of RAM is great for the average power user, someone who uses their PC for hardcore gaming and occasional content creation, like a Twitch streamer, or someone who edits home movies, or occasional YouTube content. It's a PC enthusiast sweet spot, though a PC enthusiast is probably going to max out to 32 gigabytes anyway, just cuz. 8 gigabytes is good for someone who does some gaming and occasionally creates content. Again, like home movies or a bedroom acoustic musician. On a side note, as an audio engineer and musician, if you're maxing out 8 gigabytes on a basic acoustic recording, you're doing it way wrong. And I'd wager dollars to donuts that it all winds up sounding terrible. But that's an entirely separate video series. I digress. Now what do I, Dweeny Pui of Dween Tech, recommend as far as how much RAM to get? 16 gigabytes. I recommend 16 gigabytes. 16 gigs is going to cost around or under about 80 bucks, and it'll be future-proof for at least a few years to come. But Dweeny, what about the speed of the RAM? What about DDR3 versus DDR4? Well, the speedy, the speedy, the speed of the RAM isn't so critical for Intel-based systems, but if you create content with a lot of special effects or plugins, higher speed RAM will reduce latency, which is good. I personally use 2400 MHz Corsair Vengeance, 32 gigabytes for me personally, and have a single digit latency not even worth mentioning. If the term latency went right over your head, well, then you're probably not using your PC for anything in which latency will matter or you'll even notice. So standard 1333 MHz or 16 megahertz is perfectly fine. Think of it this way. People who pay their rent with content creation care about how latency affects their workflow. Jane Doe checking her Facebook or John Doe playing Skyrim on a Core i5 with a GTX 750 graphics card won't notice any difference between 1333, 1600 MHz and 3000 MHz overclock RAM. They're just not. John Doe playing Skyrim on an AMD APU will absolutely benefit from faster RAM since the processor relies on the RAM speed and quantity for video rendering or 3D rendering. Make what about DDR3 and DDR4? The only real difference between DDR3 and DDR4 is the voltage at which they operate. DDR4 is more power efficient, so it costs less on your energy bill, like barely. DDR4 is also bleeding edge technology. Up until just this month, reserved only for professional grade motherboards, Socket 2011, version 3, I believe. The new fifth generation Socket 1151 consumer Intel CPUs will use DDR4 RAM. 
DDR4 is also very expensive right now at the creation of this review. So to recap on RAM recommendations, 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 is going to best suit the vast majority of consumers, with the minimum recommended being 8 gigabytes, still for a powerful PC experience. As always, if there's anything I missed out on or didn't cover in this review, feel free to comment in the comments below. And if you like what I'm doing with this channel, be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for my DeLorean DMC-12 review. I finally got a DJI Phantom 3 from my super hot, way out of my league wife. Thanks, babe. Adios, amigos.